Okay, so um, I've been gone for a while because my computer was icky, and now I'm back. I'm going to show you what I've been working with. Um, at least I'm going to show you some of it, not all of it. But here is um, something that I found in Target. It's by the craft section, I, I guess. Um, I was looking for some materials, and I found I found this. It's made out of canvas. <clears throat> And it has these things in it. Um, it's all held together with some, oh, I want to say O-rings, but I don't know what else to call them. They're, they're these kind of things that connect right in there. See? Okay. So um, I was really, uh, it was like eight bucks. So to me that was, that was probably a good deal because I can't make, this I don't have a sewing machine and I think you probably could oh sorry you probably could make it for uh, less than that but here we go it has rivets it has la 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 okay now I'm taking a class with um, Jane Davenport and it's her watercolor class now, this isn't one of the things that she teaches on I just decided since I'm learning about watercolors, I wanted to see how the watercolors would work on the canvas. And this is what, what's come out of it. Um, I sort of drew a little bit in and then I painted it with my watercolors. And, alright, so I'm not great, what can I tell you? But, there it is. I've, um, I thought it was kind of interesting. I especially like the tree, which is where I started and went from there. And, uh, not too shabby, I don't think. Could be a heck of a lot better. There's a lot better people out there than me, but there's an idea, right? Okay, now I'm going to show the other part. Here's the back. And the back is actually a napkin Mod Pod on there. I love the texture, and it's like you can feel... It's like a canvas-like. I mean, it really, I've never had Mod Podge react as well as it did with this. So I, I put Mod Podge down, I put this on top of it, and then I uh, eventually poured some, the Mod Podge over um, the napkin and then just laid it down. And you have to be careful because the napkin will rip. And I think you all know that already, right? And it really, there's some places, but I, I'm okay with that. It's a handmade item. What do you expect? I, I'm not selling it. And actually, even on the rivets, the napkin adheres so well to that. It was amazing to me. Because look, I'll show you. See? There's the rivet. And there's the rivet with Mod Podge napkin over it. So I thought you'd be kind of interesting... Or you'd find it kind of interesting. Here's another part of that particular thing. I've been working on this for a little while. This is one of the panels that goes inside. And this is, I would um, have to say, it is all, the paint is all watercolor. And it's the cheapy watercolor that you get from Target. I mean, Michael's. And the only other thing is the pen work which I did with the Sharpie, which you get at Target. And that's, the eyelashes are actually from um, my watercolors. I just put it on a really tiny, here it is. I've adjusted this brush and I went really tiny and just kind of went like that. And then this down here, which looks like it's shaded, was actually from my pencil work because I was penciling in how I wanted this to look. I wanted it white with like a Peter Pan collar. And there it is. So um, tell me what you think. I, it took a while to kind of get the girl look. I'm not really great at, uh, at doing this, at, at drawing. But I really am trying hard. I know it's out of proportion. The eyes should be smaller and looks like her eye is coming out of her head over here but there it is 
So, um, tell me what you think. And uh, if you end up doing one, why don't you let me know so that I can see what you did. I think these are these are really cute. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, do a sort of a... Um, oh my God, what was it? <laughs> it's Alice in Wonderland, that's it. And that movie's coming out in the summer, so... And look, I put a lot of stuff on there, on the other side. So it's two pieces together, and it did not come through, which I was really pleased with. Um, I would let it dry, and I would try to adjust, because I wanted that different. And it really worked out well. It didn't go through. So you might, it's worth it to me to, to try it out. And that's what I like doing. I like trying things out and seeing if, if it helps anybody. So I still have to paint in here somehow. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up. And I'm glad to be back. I hope you are too. Bye.